What? Hello, good morning. Good morning, our partner and our collaborator. Uh, let me introduce myself. I am Najib Bilat I am a full professor at uh, Isai Osma, and I think you have, you will see uh, our beautiful uh, school. Uh, you, here you are in uh, the fourth floor of uh, Building B, uh, where you, you find our laboratory about uh, data and embedded systems. And let me uh, uh, start, you know, the visit of our lab, and I will show you the different uh, uh, contribution that we get from the project and the environment that we use to uh, uh, have all these uh, results. As you see, you know, we, as you see, we put uh, the poster about the project everywhere, and especially for in the rooms where uh, we found colleagues working in the in the project. The idea that we got from, uh, I mean, to, to, to prepare this video is to show you the, the different contribution that we get from the project. Uh, I mean, the project is very good because it is a timely subject uh, which concerns our life. And especially even for, uh, from a research point of view, we get very good uh, idea in, uh, in publishing papers. For example, this paper has been published in, uh, recently in uh, last uh, uh, September where I present the work in, uh, in uh, Marrakesh, is uh, in a conference about smart application and smart data. And the subject is here is uh, the usage of um, uh, technique of machine learning uh, for price, electricity price forecasting. And this work we did it with in collaboration with our uh, colleague Carlos uh, Santos Silva from uh, Technical University of uh, Lisbon, Portugal. Uh, here it is. Uh, here we will show you. Uh, I mean, we show you the second paper that we get from the project. This paper has been published in a very strong uh, uh, journal uh, with highly impact factor, uh, apply energy, and this paper involved many colleagues from uh, from the project. I mean, uh, from uh, Spain and uh, and Por and uh, Portugal. I mean, it is it is very. Uh, I mean, very uh, uh, strong work about uh, resilience, security for microgrid with hybrid energy storage system using model predi uh, the predictive model. Here uh, we have the third paper that we got in future generation computer science. It is very highly uh, uh, journal about uh, data management and model engineering. Uh, this, as you see, you know, each, each time where we, uh, uh, you, we get some finding from the project, we put it in the paper. For example, here we are uh, putting that this cycle has been used in the context of a permit project funded by European Regional Development Fund. And here we have the, we have the fourth papers that we got from, um, from with one student from our school. Uh, he will give you an overview about his work. And the particularity of this work is that we, uh, we, we use the machine learning and deep learning techniques to predict uh, electricity price in stable and unstable market, because now we are in stable market and the idea is how, to, uh, how we can propose algorithm, efficient algorithm with high accuracy to predict uh, the price of electricity in this unstable uh, system. And as you know, I mean, in our title, you know, to, to promote the project, uh, in, our, we, in our lab, we choose uh, the, the, the fact that we, we put the name of the project in the title. For example, here we have improvement project, and the, in the first paper that I show you, it is an improvement project, and we put, you know, everything about, you know, the project to, to, to give more, uh, more um, uh, promotion and he, even here we are. Well, we start, we are saying that the business work has been carried out under the framework uh, interacted the way uh, European project improvement. And uh, this one, I mean, I would like to uh, focus in this paper because it was our first paper that we did uh, in in the project in 2020, and it is a special paper because we uh, get this paper in a COVID uh, period, and I I mean we work very uh, uh, very hard with uh, our colleague Carl uh, Felix Garcia. Uh, from Spain and uh, Pedro that provide us the different data that we get for the, from the project, and we get the we we publish this paper 
uh, in a very uh, good conference is DAWAC. It is a conference about uh, data, uh, about big data and the knowledge discovery. And for each paper that we get from the project, we are putting the, you know, the logo of the project. Uh, I mean, just to uh, promote the, the project and, uh, and uh, show the, our idea that we get from the project among our students and our colleagues and uh, collaborators. Now, now we have to go to see uh, uh, the student that uh, proposed you know, algorithm for this unstable market. This is uh, Florian, he's a student from our school. Just we go to, uh, to uh, uh, lab rooms to, uh, to show you this uh, information. Hello, good morning. Hello. <coughs> Hello, I'm Florian. I'm a Dansma engineer student and I did my internship this summer here in the Lias laboratory. The subject was the electricity price forecasting methods uh, concerning stable and unstable uh, markets especially. And I really like to thank the pseudo improvement project for allowing us to have access to this data set and making this work possible. From an educational point of view, it was really rewarding. Okay, thank you, Florian, for this uh, job. I mean, I, I think it is very nice because, you know, uh, uh, we write the paper and we associate as the first author, uh, Florian, uh, and we submit this paper to a very well-known conference in uh, Big Data. It is IEEE Big Data Conference, and then we will get the notification in next uh, 15 October. And then and, uh, Florian, you know, to thank him because he did a very good job. Uh, we put his name as the first author of this paper. Okay, good morning. Here it is uh, another room about uh, PhD students. I mean, the, the room that we are with Florian, it is a room uh, with the master students. And here we move to another room which is uh, uh, dedicated for uh, PhD students. And we have two kinds of PhD students in our lab. We have PhD students for working in uh, uh, embedded system and uh, real time uh, system. And we have students working in um, database. And uh, Ayub, he is one student working with uh, with uh, with this uh, uh, energy management and uh, energy efficiency in uh, data processing system. It, he is one of my PhD students here. He will give you some overview about his work. Let's go, please. Uh, good morning. <coughs> I am a PhD student. I am working on minimizing the energy consumption in database management systems. Currently, we are carrying out several works. Uh, the first one is developing a machine learning model that predicts the energy consumption in database management systems. And in this work, we arrived uh, at data collection step. As you can see in the left screen, we, we started by collecting data uh, by executing many queries and collecting the energy consumption of these queries uh, by using a power meter. And uh, in another work, we are developing a, a green database management system and uh, the particularity of the system is that it, consider, it considers the, the, the artificial intelligence uh, concept and uh, in this work we try to, to explain the different uh, decisions of machine learning models uh, already uh, done in the state of art and we try to explain also and to propose comments, statement comments to, to explain the energy consumption, uh, uh, the energy consumption by, uh, consumed by, by uh, the energy consumed by the different query plans in the, in a database management system. Okay. And all the data that we are uh, using and collecting, uh, some are from the, the project because we are using post, uh, Postgres DBMS to sort the data. And some are, I mean, generated by some benchmark that we use uh, from the literature. And may we, now we will go to uh, show you the different server that we got from the project. And I would like to thank the project to give, to, for giving us this, uh, this uh, amount of money to uh, buy servers and uh, doing this kind of job. Okay. Merci, Ayu.
Okay, here we arrived at our uh, key rooms. Uh, in our lab, it is a room about uh, servers that stores uh, different the data that we are manipulating. And we'll just show you, you know, the different, you know, facilities about uh, these uh, servers. Yeah, here I am with my, uh, as you know, we are uh, two in the project, Mikhail Barrow and me. Uh, and, and the project, we involve many students. I mean, we just, I mean, we, just, we are two permanent with many uh, masters and PhD students. And here you see uh, the different you know, server that we got from the project. And in way, each, each server that we uh, uh, dedicate to the project, we put a poster to show, you know, uh, to show notes, to show, you know, the provenance of the, the server. Then I would like to, uh, to thank, you know, Sidway project, and uh, I would like to thank our partners uh, because, you know, they give us, you know, a chance to collaborate in this uh, timely subject with a very nice idea. And we are uh, using this idea for, for other, you know, for other fields, for example, like, uh, like uh, uh, agriculture. And for example, we are applying for a project about agriculture. And we, uh, we would like to have another chance to uh, have this kind of project because it is, it is very nice. We get a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, facilities and we get a lot of uh, idea, we can hire students. And as you know, for this project, we hire more than uh, 10 students, undergraduate and the postgraduate student working in this project. And that, that's why we are very, very happy. And we would like uh, if so that we can uh, reproduce the same experience with uh, this nice team. Thank you very much and see you soon.